Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my May favorites. Um, I skipped April because April, end of April and beginning of May were kind of just weird for me. We're out of town, I was kind of sick and wore barely any makeup at all. But um, I love doing these videos because I do try quite a lot of makeup and to just kind of at the end of each month, I can kind of gather my thoughts and just share with you guys the products that I really enjoy and I think they're worth it or, you know, even older products that I've been using. So grab something. I got hair in my mouth. Grab something to drink and uh, let's get started. So as I kind of mentioned, May has been, just April and May have been I think harder months overall for me. I was pretty sick and then we were on vacation and then I, I messed up my shoulder. So makeup has been quite minimal. I haven't worn a ton of makeup and when I have been wearing, I've been wearing very natural makeup and I have been just loving it. Um, I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup kind of look or kind of my daily makeup because I've been really enjoying my routine and I just haven't felt the need to put a lot of makeup on. Also, it's 90 degrees where we're at. So the second I walk outside, I just feel like my makeup is melting off. So minimum makeup is a very helpful in those kinds of situations sheets read situations like always i will have inserts just demonstrating some products not all of them but just pretty much my makeup look today so let's start with primers i have really been loving these two primers well i have three you know this always happens i always think i just have one and then i'm like oh two maybe three anyway but these are the primers that i've really been enjoying um and they all do a special thing. So the Denise Myrick's Yummy Skin Glow Serum, uh, I mean this is a serum, but I use it as a primer. I love this because it is, it feels like a serum. It's very moisturizing. It's, it's glowy, but it's not too glowy. Sometimes I have glowier primers that are just too much. And right now, like I said, it's very hot outside. I already naturally will uh, just have more of a glowy skin because of the sweat. <laughs> but sometimes I just love a product like this that has a glow. It's moisturizing, but it's just not too much, mostly combined with some of the foundations I'm going to mention. So um, yeah, this is beautiful. This is the, the lightest uh, shade. Wow, I am really twisting my words today. Um, main squeeze. I was really wanting to get the darker one, but I heard some of you guys actually mention saying, you know, it's so light that you don't see a difference. So I just decided to stick with this one. I am still in the lookout for just a bronzier this. <laughs> Something like this, just a little bronzier. I know by Terry has a really good one, so I may just repurchase that one. I had it a while back, but anyway. Okay, and then the next two primers, they're kind of similar. If it's a super long day and I want my makeup to stay in place, I go for Tom Ford. Like uh, this to me will completely erase my pores. It will make the foundation stay on in place all day long. And if it's super hot outside and I need to be uh, outside, I will be using this. Uh, it's the Traces Soft Matte Primer. It is an arm and a leg. Is it worth it? Probably not, but it's probably the best um, mattifying and pore filling primer that I have. Like it really does such a good job. Uh, and I would say the Hourglass is kind of similar. This is the Vanish, but this is more I feel like I get a little bit more moisture out of this one and it's not quite as intense as the Tom Ford, but this is more of an everyday primer for me uh, because I just feel like it, it, it keeps the foundation in place. It definitely mattifies uh, this area, the T-zone. I usually don't put it everywhere. I just put it right here, here maybe on my chin um but it's still hydrating and it also helps with pores so i really like this for every day and yeah those are the three primers i've used a lot and i do think i've used a primer 
every single time I did my makeup. Even as a no makeup makeup kind of look, I still use primers. I just, I really enjoy them and I do think it makes my skin look different. Moving on to foundation. I have barely wore any foundation lately. I just don't feel the need for it. And if I do, it's most likely going to be this. This is the Cali Ray uh, Tint. I never know that. Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. Um, this is in number six. I, it's a little tan for me. Ouch. Um, but I shake it. I spread it all over my hands. I literally use my fingers, rub it in my fingers, and just go at it. And just rub it all over my face. Um, I really love this one because it gives me a light coverage. But it's not glowy uh, and like I was saying before because it's so hot I tend to to stay away from super glowy foundations because I'm naturally gonna get there um, so having something like this that it's a little bit more of a satin natural finish it is not matte but it is not this radiant product I really enjoy and the finish and the way it sits on the skin it literally looks like my skin again it has pretty light coverage uh, but I got the color six that it's slightly deeper uh, but I love that because it kind of will match my body uh, and so even if I'm not wearing anything putting something like this on my face because I use so much SPS, SPF on my face um, it will end up matching my body and it's very good very easy every day i just think this is a brilliant product and ever since i bought it i've been using it every day i even went on a really quick trip for two days and this is what i packed um and that's it even though i've used this one almost daily i have also reached for this one this is the chanel water fresh tint and it's a it's such a good product it has these little beads i'll show you that are pretty much sitting in water i guess and then once you pump it let's see this is how it comes out and then you kind of rub it in to break those beads and that's your little water foundation primer whatever you want to call it i have been using this one also for um barely their makeup um it's a very beautiful it has a blurring effect like it, i feel like i'm wearing a filter when i wear this one um this is more expensive than this one so you know I don't know sometimes it hurts when i use this one now the chanel one has even less coverage than the cali ray um but it has just a little sprinkle of magic this has an effect of of a filter blurring on the skin even though you don't see this product it's extremely light it's a very watery it's hydrating uh, but it does something to the skin. So I find this to be a very unique, beautiful product. I did try the rose ink one. That one's okay, but I still prefer this one more. I think there's something special about how that looks on the skin. Uh, and I think that's all the foundation that I've been wearing. I was, I put this one here, the Makeup Forever HD to mention because I remember in April I've used it quite a bit but honestly I haven't used it in May but once I think when I needed a little bit more coverage and for a wedding and that's it moving on to concealers all right I do have some concealers here to talk about but I will I will share with you how I've been wearing them let's start first of all with the Bobbi Brown corrector this is the newer Bobbi Brown one this is in the shade bisque and um I wish I would have gotten a deeper color corrector. This one is just a little light. I, it's a bit more of a brightening effect on me, but I have been enjoying it and I've been using it. And the way I've used it is combined 
with this Giorgio Armani Luminous Seal Concealer. Now, because I'm kind of wearing a no makeup makeup kind of look most days, I really have been enjoying this concealer. This is in 4.5, I think. It's rubbed off, of course. I do think it's 4.5 because that's the foundation I've been using. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I will do some some research um but i really have been enjoying this one this is a light coverage concealer so you're not going to get a ton of coverage but combining it with this uh, bobby brown corrector this does a good job at kind of canceling some of the darkness and this just gives a beautiful finish a little bit of a coverage in a slight glow even though i powder on top of this i just love the effect that it has and sometimes i don't need to have the bobby brown but i tend to combine them um it's a great concealer again it's it's pretty light coverage so if you're looking for something to cover your dark circles this is not for you but i i love the way it looks under the skin under my eyes i mean <laughs> um i love the effect that it gives i think my my watch has been beeping like it's connected to our like security system. So every time somebody walks by, it alerts me. So let's mute that. As I was saying, um, yeah, I like the effect that this has under my eyes. It's kind of hydrating. It's a slightly radiant, lighter coverage. I guess you could build it up to a light medium, but that's about it. And yeah, I've been wearing these a lot. Also, I have discovered the Say Concealer and I love it. I think it's really beautiful and I love it combining it with, where's the powder here, the Say powder. This is a great combo. Again, it's more of a light coverage concealer. I wouldn't say that this is medium, uh, but I've been just wanting to reach for things like this that are very, barely there kind of coverage, very glowy. The Say is very glowy, but if you powder it with a powder, which I've also been absolutely enjoying, I think it has a really beautiful effect on the skin and it lasts surprisingly well. And then I did want to mention two more concealers that I've kind of wore in April, May. Uh, if I need a good coverage concealer and I'm like, okay, I need to I need to cover up those sleepless nights, I go for the Rose Ink, the concealer. I don't know the name of it. I have no idea if it has a different name, but mine is LX uh, 0 or 060, 060, anyway, but uh, I will link it down below the right shade, but I really have been enjoying this one. It has more of a moussey texture. It has good coverage and I find it easy. I find like it blends in easy. It's not glowy, so I, I can kind of rely on this to not move too much um I, sometimes i don't feel the need to set it um but yeah this is a good one and i've just gotten back on my clay pearl concealer this is an almond i've been i've been mixing both shades almond and bisque yeah three and four um but i haven't worn it for let's say two three weeks and then i tried it on again and in the mirror, the, the in the car, the mirror in the car was like, ah, that looks so beautiful, so smooth. Like five, seven hours later, it was like perfect, even though I had to wear a mask. Oh, I remember I had to go get an MRI um, and they had to put something on my eyes because you don't, you don't want to see how close you are to the top of the MRI, the machine. Um, and this looked literally perfect. I even had a small panic attack uh, there. I am not claustrophobic, or I didn't think I was. I'm not an anxious person, but they put me in there and I was like, get me out. Like, I didn't expect it to be that tight in there. And uh, yeah, it, it was awful. And I've had MRIs before, but I was younger. But I got out, kind of calmed down, and I was able to go back in for an hour but it got better because I kind of knew what I was expecting. First time they just put me in and I was I was just freaking out. Anyway, uh, it, it kind of made me realize how some people, like how people that are claustrophobic feel or very anxious or 
it really was an experience that I don't want to experience again. And I really feel for people who, who struggle with things like that. Powder, uh, Makeup Forever. I've used this pretty much almost every day in the Say powder. These are the two ones. I rely more on the Makeup Forever to keep me matte and just, it's just perfect. Uh, Say has a little bit of glow. So if I feel like mm, I want to be a little juicy today, I may go for this one, but these are the only two powders I've really reached for. I am trying a new concealer, which why not? Let's talk about it. The new MAC one. This is the MAC Stack. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying it and I like it. I feel like uh, it kind of is running under my eyes. So that's why I keep looking and I feel like I see some darkness, um, which... I struggle with 99% of the concealers, but I like it on the top lashes. I think it makes them look nice and long, but I will say I've noticed that I feel like they're slowly going down and I feel like I have to push them back up. But um, yeah, this is the first time I'm trying it. I got a small one because I didn't want to commit to a big one and I think I like it. I don't like it on the bottom. Again, I feel like it's... It, darken up my under eyes but anyway the concealer uh, I talked about concealer powders are done bronzers oh wasn't it such a good month for bronzers um even though I want to talk about all of them because I love them all I'm gonna mention two right here uh, Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and even these I'm like stretching it because I've only tried these for a couple weeks at best. Uh, I don't know how fair this is, but I really have loved the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. This is in medium. This is the color that I personally enjoy. Uh, I find it very easy to use. Uh, it doesn't lift the foundation. I was a little bit shocked at how almost thick the, the product is like when you rub your finger in there there's a lot of product coming off but when I pick it up with a brush I've used two brushes I think it's the refer 05 and then the BK Beauty 107 I've used both of those to pick this product up and it looks so beautiful so effortless it looks really nice on the skin and um, it looks like honey it, it kind of looks like honey on me I have the fair one, but I haven't used it since I got the medium one. Uh, the fair is definitely more of a contour for me. And since I've been trying to be more minimal with my makeup, I definitely have not contoured. I do have a full review on this one if you're interested. And I really did want to mention the makeup by Mario. This is the Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. Even though I've just reviewed this one, I think it's such a good product and I know it's going to be a favorite. I've already used it quite a bit. I mean, I feel like it looks so messy. I've used it almost every day. I think every day since I picked it up because it's just such an easy product. I can see this to be a no makeup makeup kind of look like it gives such a beautiful glow it's like a very light bronzer it has radiance but it's not really sticky on the skin it doesn't dry to a powdery feel but it's like my hair doesn't get stuck um it's very different than the charlotte tilbury i think these are two completely different products i actually put the makeup by mario on today just to show you guys although I wouldn't combine them really. Um, but to me, this is a very innovative, balmy texture bronzer and I I like it. This is my kind of product and I think it's gonna be very well used this summer. Moving on to blushes and this Bare mineral, Minerals, this is the third time I'm trying to say this, Bare Minerals bronzer um, is so beautiful. It's Kiss of Copper and i think it is so gorgeous i you could definitely use this as a bronzer blush highlighter but i use it more of a as a blush highlighter uh, now on a no makeup makeup kind of look like this combo ooh, the makeup makeup by mario and this one the bare minerals such a beautiful combo um but yeah like i've used this one a lot. I feel like this is the only blush I've used 
for the past couple of weeks. Um, gorgeous. I love it. I think it's a great find. I know it's not new, but I picked it up in May. Um, and then I've been using these rose ink blushes as well. If I haven't picked that one, mostly if I want more of a cool tone, I actually go for Hel Heliotrope from Rose Ink. I've been using that color quite a bit for a more neutral kind of look, uh, cool tone. And then Fox Glove is another one that I've used um, besides this one. But yeah, these are the only blushes I feel like I've been reaching for. Highlighter, I haven't used a ton of highlighter. Again, because this has such a beautiful highlighter, I didn't feel the need to put another highlighter on top of that. But um, I have been reaching for the Westman Atelier Peau de Sante um, more. If I can open it, my forever <laughs> issue with these products. Um, this is a softer highlighter. It's softer than the Peau de Peche. I still prefer Peau de Peche more than this one, but I have it on right now and it's kind of a blush topper highlighter. Um, let's fix this hair. Um, it is really pretty on the skin. I love the effect that it has and I like that it's not quite as beaming. Um, I think if you're fair, it would look really beautiful. I think if you're even like medium skin tone, you could still use it. It's definitely more of a pink undertone, but it's it's a little softer than the Peau de Peche. Um, but because I already had quite a lot of glow just overall, I've been reaching for this one more than the Peau de Peche um, for that reason, because this, this gives a wash of color. I like the pinkiness in it right there. Um, and yeah, this I think is the only highlighter except Peau de Peche. Like, don't get me wrong, I've still used my Peau de Peche, but, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the only highlighter. Actually, I've discovered, where is it? This one right here. This is the Tom Ford Mood Light Skin Illuminating Powder Duo. And this is another, um, highlighter that I've been reaching for if I really want a highlighter. Like this will give you some beaming highlighter, but I love the texture. I love that it's that baked gelée formula. Let me show you up close. Um, yeah, I think this is a really beautiful, really expensive. I got it at the Cosmetic, Cosmetic Co store for a half off and I like it. I, I think it's beautiful. So yeah, I feel like those are the only two highlighters I've used if I even reach for a highlighter. For eyeshadow, I really have barely used eyeshadow. Um, today I used the Tom Ford Suspicion. Uh, I like this because it has that, those bronzy colors. It's, it's a pretty, definitely bronzy, but it's not too intense. I did wet some of these. I, I love this rosy one all over the lid. I think it is so beautiful. Um, I've even used this coppery bronze color on my lids today, and I just love this whole thing. I think it is a very pretty, very easy to use and I like that it's the wet to dry formula because it, the second I wet this it's just like becomes a cream on my eyes and honestly all of these you can wear all as a one and done shadow so I've reached for this a little bit again I haven't worn a ton of eyeshadow but I did enjoy this one quite a bit um, I do want to mention the Side by Side by Nabla Cosmetics. I've discovered, I think, this in May, if I'm not wrong, but what a beautiful palette. Um, I've worn this. We had a wedding, so I did wear this, I think, at the wedding. Um, and if I ever need something in my crease real quick, I can reach for this, but not a ton. I haven't, I haven't worn a ton of eyeshadow. I did get from cosmetic company store like a lot of quads from Tom Ford and I've played with some, but I still have some that I, I really want to get my hands in, but it just feels so overwhelming to put that much makeup on and go outside in 90 degree weather and humidity is, oh sticky uh also we've been working on our yard our back patio we've planted every single day we've been outside so i just don't want to wear a ton of makeup all right lips i do think i've i've really discovered some good lip products oh wait i skipped one 
brow product we have a good new brow product and who am i i haven't changed my brow routine in over a year but i've discovered the huda beauty uh this is the bomb brows in number seven black brown tiniest little um applic not applicator but like what is this tip yeah, um, and I really enjoy it. I hate the packaging because I can never find the right way. But yes, I've been enjoying this. I still love my um, my Gucci one a lot, but this is new to me and sitting right here in my top drawer. Uh, but I've discovered great brushes this month and lots of lip products. I'm going to try to talk quickly. I really was expecting this video to be so short, but... We all know how that goes. Okay, let's talk about the lip products real quick. I would say the this one, Refi, Refi, I still haven't figured out how to say that. This one has been one of my most used lip products since I bought it. I love this one. I love the effect. I love the color. I love the way it stays on the lips. I love the way it fades on the lips. I love pretty much everything except the packaging. The packaging definitely looks cool, but I find it a little bit just not great um you have to you know twist and you have the little balm at this end um and then you have to pull for the lip liner but i'm scared that these are just one day not going to work properly i know the one in in store that i tried um or that i swatched was just like falling apart like the top wasn't coming off um and then the, the balm was just drying out i don't know i just I just don't love the packaging. I feel like just overall it's going to break or I'm going to mess something up. I do love the product so, so much and I've used it a lot, a lot. Um, I want to say 80, 90% of the time I use this one and maybe I'll put something else on top of this if I feel like it. All right, another great lip product that I think everybody knows by now is the Dior Lip Glow Oil what a good product this is kind of my everyday put a little bit of this even if i'm not wearing any makeup just moisturizing i i like the effect that it has um it's a very moisturizing but it's not sticky and it gives me just that the slightest little pink tint and i love it that's in a one and they're always sold out hourglass has come out with new lip products which i've been enjoying as well uh, i wouldn't say i know this is my favorite but i do want to just quickly mention that i wouldn't say that these are my all-time holy grail product but i do enjoy them the reason is that they are so um, emollient that I just need to be careful with these. So you kind of twist the bottom. I don't even want to twist it actually. Um, and then you put it on, but it's super, look at that, glossy. And see how the product gathers there? That's what happens on the lips. So I'm just scared to use these even though I do use them, I love the effect that it has. It's beautiful, but I do feel like using a lip liner really helps just keep it in place and then it has the most beautiful effect. Um, but I'm just a little bit wary of the packaging. Guys, I'm, I literally dropped, I think, 10 times just products. Um, just in this video, not today. Another great Dior product is the Lip Glow Balm. Is that it? This is an, uh, oh, Dior Addict Lip Glow 001. And it has this like really, you know, baby pink color, but it doesn't go that, that bad on. Like it's not this bright pink, but it does have a pink shift right there. And I think it's really, really beautiful. I've been enjoying this one. Um, also the Dior, the, the new ones, which are one of the Dior Addict. Uh, I have three colors and I really have been enjoying all of them. This gives you a little bit more just like pigment. This is the Mimosa, is it? Mimi Rose. So close. <laughs> Uh, but I have the number 100, which is the nude one, and the Dior and Thai, 
which I think I like the most out of all of them. Again, it has that more cool tone pink and it's beautiful. And of course, I have to give a shout out to Tara Lynn and Christian Audet. This lipstick for me is such a good peach, such a good peach. I did do a full review on it. Um, isn't that just beautiful? I have been combining this one on top of uh, this product, the Refi, and I think they work so well together. Huge congratulations again. It's just such a, such a huge achievement. And I have discovered a BK Beauty brushes and I do wanna talk really quickly, not that one, uh, about these. I mean, I love this one too, but these are the ones that I've just learned and loved. Um, let's talk about this one, the 106 I used today, this one for concealer, so fast, so easy, but I've also used this one for cream bronzer or whatever really it's it's perfect the 101 is the foundation one very soft very beautiful blends in like a dream um the 107 is great for cream bronzer it has a little bit of flexibility in it so it can really spread the product so nice and even um Again, the 104, I've used this one for blush. I know it looks like such a big brush, but I love that it's it's light. It's like a, a brush that's kind of not super dense, if you can see right there. So when I apply brush, I really like just big brushes. I, this is great for bronzer as well, but for blush, like I use, I use these two together, mostly because this blush I kind of wanted all over. It's so good. And then probably my favorite brush that she has is the 105. And this is this massive brush. Look at that. But what I do is when I'm done with my face, I just go over and this literally just makes everything perfect it just blends everything together the bronze or blush highlighter and it's just perfect like it's huge like look at that it's like big but it's just so good it is it's, it's a brush I didn't know I was missing and that is all for today wow that was pretty long wasn't it the sun was up in the sky and now is is gone like always I love to hear your thoughts down below you guys are so communicative. I wish my husband was like that. I'm just kidding. Andrew is great. But you definitely like to talk about makeup and I just love it. That's one of my favorite parts of YouTube. Let me know all your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.